How can one quantify the importance of a particular technology? Well, one of the great problems with, um, with our understanding of, of the world of technology is, in fact, that we don't quantify. Uh, we just take on trust uh, assertions that this or that technology is transforming our, our world. Um, we should, in fact, begin to, to, to quantify. But it's actually much more difficult than you might think. Uh, take the question, how important is the computer? Now, one answer would be, well, what would happen if all the computers stopped suddenly? Uh, and the, the answer then would be, well, very, very important because our world would come to a crashing halt. But that's not the right way of formulating the question. The question needs to be formulated as follows. If instead of computers we had some alternative, uh, what is the difference in the performance of our society with that alternative and with the, with the computer? That's to say we could do lots of things without computers that we today do with computers. So we could type a letter with a typewriter, um, not a word processor. We could take a photograph uh, with, uh, with a wet photography. Um, and, well, indeed, we could do many, many things from, from broadcasting to fighting wars to, to, uh, to, to all sorts of uh, magical entertainment uh, without, the, without, the, without the digital. So that, so that has to be our, our, our comparison. But it's very difficult to, because certainly young people will not be aware of um, predecessors to the, to the, to the digital. Um, for example, I remember a very funny uh, occasion when on a television program, um, in the early days of the internet, uh, the, 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 the presenters of the program were trying to communicate with an internet guru in San Francisco from, uh, from London. And um, they uh, discovered that it was actually quite difficult to make this, uh, this video connection to this, uh, to this guru. And they, they made mild fun of this poor chap because um, the future hadn't quite, uh, quite arrived. But the real joke, of course, was that actually they could have picked up the phone to San Francisco and, and spoken to him perfectly well.